All right, so this is our Vinver still, and we're, we're doing our modifications on. We drilled a hole in the very center to fit our three quarter inch copper pipe. All right, these here are called swagging tools. What they're used for is you put them in a drill and you put them inside of the pipe. And it swells the pipe up so that you can make a union without having to purchase extra unions. And so what we're gonna wind up doing is we're gonna put our pipe down inside of here. We're gonna use the swagging tool to swell it up to the same inside of the hole here. And then we're gonna use a tack hammer and peen the inside flat around it. And then we're gonna solder it with lead-free silver solder. And then we're going to put unions on it so that we can easily disassemble it and reassemble it to for storage or whatever else we're going to do. All right. And part of this here is we're going to take our swagging tool and we're going to mark how deep that swagging tool goes on our pipe all the way around so that way whenever we set it inside of this hole here because we're going to put a down pipe coming into our thumper box this is our thumper lid going all the way down to the bottom of the thumper box all right all right whenever you're sweating copper or soldering copper together clean both sides real good with uh, sandpaper or whatever add your flux to it then you're going to heat the side up with the largest fitting and it will suck the solder inside between the two okay so let's get that done here, hold this. Just hold this phone. Now these torches, you get propane or you can get map gas, but for most of what you're gonna use, you're not gonna need map gas. The map gas just burns a whole lot hotter. But, let's see. Just watch it just shrink down into it. There you go. Got it all the way around on the inside. That's it. Nothing too huge or magnificent or anything else like that. It just soaks it in. If you have a wet rag, you wipe it down with a wet rag. And she won't come apart again. I remember whenever you're soldering, it doesn't take a whole lot of extra. It doesn't take a whole lot. Notice I got a little bitty lump right there, extra left over. It's well in. But if you look inside of my, where I've soldered, you can see the solder come all the way through to the end of the pipe. And that's really what you're looking for. A lot of people get in trouble because they use way too much and they drip it. And they just waste money and time doesn't take very much at all once you get it real good and hot you see that flux bubbling out of there and you touch it with that solder make a streak across it once or twice and then you're done usually I'll take a wet rag and hit it with a wet rag afterwards just to cool it down all right so I have completed the build on my Vever 9.6 gallon here and this is what she's got what she looks like at this point yeah, it's three quarter inch coming off of the main tub. Now then, I haven't sealed this hole up here. I'm gonna put a longer uh, therm thermostat or thermometer down in there. Cause the one that came, comes with Vimver, is only about two inches long. And I like for it to reach at least down, halfway down to the liquid. And of course you can solder uh, copper to stainless here and you can see that solder joint and that solder coming out through there. One thing that I like to help do that with is I use these here and I'll heat the pipe up and I'll use my quarter inch impact and I will put it inside the pipe to swell the pipe up on the inside of there and then I will solder it. And of course with your thumper, I drill these out bigger three quarter inch half inch down here this pipe does go to the bottom I had to have two shutoff valves so 
So that way I can bypass the thumper altogether while I'm trying to collect my heads and then I can switch it back over to the thumper or whatever I want to do. And then off down to the condensing coils, which is only a 3 8 inch coming down. Now this thing comes with the Venver 2. This is how that's supposed to work. All right. But there are things you can do that you can get an adapter for this to the Vever uh, fitting that's on the thumper and make a downpipe for that. And I, there's a lot of people that do that if you just want to run the system as you buy it. You buy one little piece, screw it on there and be done with it. I don't really like those flex hoses. I don't like things sitting on top of each other or anything else. Now then, if you don't have the coon, coon penis or whatever, you can do two things. You can either stick a toothpick in here and it'll drip off down. But also what I like to do is I'll, I'll smash it with a pair of pliers and then I'll take a pair of wire dykes and put them in there and like bend the bottom down to a point. So that way it will actually run straight down there. But this is what it looks like. It does need to be cleaned up. It is dirty. I have I just put it together and that's it. Like I said, it needs washed. Now whenever I'm washing this, whenever you buy the new one from the store, you really don't have to do a vinegar run because it's mostly all stainless. But since I've added all of this to it, I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, wash it soap and water just like I would if it was just pure stainless and then I'm going to take it and uh, run a vinegar run through there about two quarts of vinegar two quarts of water 50 50 mix no water of course in my condenser I'm just gonna let it steam out and be done with it and once that steams for a good little while then I'll take it out I'll rinse it out I'll blow all of my hose all of my pipes through put just water into the main pump and then from there I will go ahead and run it again two more times just to make sure I clear it all out. Now if you don't want to go this route and you're worried about needing more copper or whatever else you can buy these 100% cotton or uh, copper scrubbies and they sell them you know these are made in China which I usually try to buy everything veteran owned, local stores, you know, made in America. But this actually did, I bought this from a local brewery store and they sold me 12 of them for $3.99. Now then you can take these and you can put them down inside of your thumper to get more contact with copper. You know, if you're just running this still like, it, like you purchased it, um, if you run it like this, you can take these and you can pack some up inside of your column if you want. You can even make that column bigger uh, if you want to do that. So, but I increased the height here for a couple of different reasons. One, because whenever you pack the, this full, you're only going to wind up with, you know, you want it about three quarters of the way full. So that way, whenever you bubble or whatever, you're not puking. Into, con into your condenser. But with this added height on the pipe, puking is not that much of an issue and you can fill it a little bit fuller. I still wouldn't fill it all the way full because it's going to puke. And that's something you don't want. You don't want to fill your thumper full of your mash or anything else. Whenever you put anything in the thumper, you really only want it you know, about a third of the way full. And that's it. The rest of the two thirds you leave with air and let it do its thing. So, whenever I get it, uh, I'll run something through it probably later in another day or two and I'll put a little video watching it do its thing. But, thank you.